Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to my advanced cave house tutorial. This is a very, very easy house to build. I know it looks a little bit complicated. Each one is going to turn out a little bit different than the other one, and it has everything you could ever need to live. So yeah, let's get to the tutorial. All right, so for your advanced cave base, you're going to need to find the materials found on my hotbar below. I'm using cracked stone brick, cobblestone stone, cobbler, uh, stone brick slabs, cracked stone brick, and cobblestone stairs slabs, stone brick stairs, basic stuff. Maybe question mark a little bit of oak wood for supports and then definitely a green carpet on the floor. So you want to find an area that has somewhat of a cave that you could dig back in. Um, this mountain obviously is perfectly sized for our needs, but if you go on a little hill like something like this, then you know you may in, end up like coming out of it. So you, you want to find an area. If you're curious about this seed, you want to find this exact area. I'll do slash seed. The seed is going to be down there in the bottom left hand corner. My coordinates are right there, 929, 383 on well, Minecraft 1.11.2. So let's get started on the actual tutorial. So basically we're gonna take one, two, three, four blocks and we're just going to put a one, two, three, four, five, six block space in between, go up another four. Gonna go up diagonal and we're just gonna make a shape like this now this is where it starts to get a little bit tricky we're not going to build it back the exact like well it's gonna be a natural looking cave base so you just want to break it back some amount of blocks i'm breaking it back like four more blocks real quick all right so i broke that back one two three four i broke about five blocks but that's that's not the point here the point is this this area is going to start to become a little bit random you can make this a little bit easier with tnt but it's not necessarily the only way to do this, but if you do have access to TNT, I would recommend it. Otherwise, you can just break out an area that looks like a cave. So we're going to come in here, and uh, we're going to do just a couple of detonation charges in a specific order. So we're going to come back here in the middle, so you guys kind of see what I'm doing kind of in the middle. And we're going to put a little bit of TNT right here, a little bit of TNT right here, and a little bit of TNT right here. Uh, we may only do three pieces there, we'll do three pieces there, and then three pieces there. And then we'll do one, two, and then three, and then we'll try to light as much as we can at once. Uh, it's not like necessary that you light them all at once, but we're gonna try to get some of the cave shape back there. And I know that's really loud, but here's the thing, right? You wanna get a shape that looks like a cave. Just something like this. Uh, let me grab some glowstone so you guys can probably see a little bit better. But uh, as you can see, you just wanna get somewhat of like a cave shape, right? You're looking for something that looks natural. You don't want it to be all like uniform, so you may have to break some things here and there. And the reason we have blocks for texturing, like uh, all these over here, is because we're gonna try to make things look more uh, natural, I guess, in a way. So natural is subjective, I think, but if you break your cave back and something doesn't look like right then just fix it and make it look natural See, we're trying to make it look somewhat natural like things like that little one pieces of cobblestone probably not going to be too natural uh, Obviously, there's not like a really cobblestone in uh, caves But we're gonna make it into our own sort of thing. We're gonna just gonna randomly add cobblestone throughout it We're gonna add cracked stone brick throughout it. We're gonna be putting slabs in some places like that and uh, we're gonna make everything look really cool in here so we want to have a, an area for a farm, obviously. We don't have an area for some other things. So we're going to put three pieces of TNT right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and light that up again. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. And hopefully when we turn around and go back there, uh, things aren't too messed up. So again, it's not super important how you place the TNT. And it's not super important how you make these. But you want to make it look somewhat natural. And that's, uh, I think, what we're going to go for here. So, basically, in your cave base, you're going to want to just, I mean, you're not going to have the exact same shape. You're going to want to smooth everything out. So, I'm going to try to explain it in terms of, like, like everything you're going to have to do. I'm going to grab, like, let's say a torch. Where would a torch be? Where can I grab a torch? We're going we're gonna to put that in my uh, little thing right there. We're going to take everything we're going to need to texture. And uh, let me get that all organized. All right, there we go. Everything's nice. And uh, how it should be so essentially you want to pick an area that you, where like your floor is gonna be you don't want to have your floor uh, on a bunch of different I mean you do want to have it on a bunch of different levels but you don't want to have it like just scattered around and uh, there's obviously gonna be areas that you do want to fill in like things that just look a little bit funky you don't want to have things looking funky guys that's never a good thing um, up here like for instance I think that looks cool with a little bit of depth up there maybe some uh, areas back here need to be broken a little bit more you want to fill this in uh, I don't know. I still don't under understand like why it places things like that. Uh, one thing that it's pet peeve of mine. I wouldn't have any dirt showing necessarily. I would transform it first all into stone, and then from there go in and make things into how you want them. So I'm thinking maybe like a bed up here or something, because it's sort of like a little like encased area. I guess I feel like a bed would look nice up there. Um, we should break this out a little bit more. But again, I'm just kind of giving you like. 
ideas on how to texture your cave it doesn't have to be the exact same obviously it's every build is going to be different with this style but uh yeah so that's pretty cool i guess i mean it makes every house unique but then again it also makes it a little bit more difficult to follow because if you did this block by block i mean i don't even think the tn i mean would the tnt be the same every time like i don't actually know the answer to that question if someone knows the answer to that question like let me know what i mean by that is like would the tnt break the same like blocks every time if it was placed in the exact same area and everything like would it i honestly don't know the answer to that so if you do know and you'd like to share that information with me please do because i am genuinely curious i don't i don't know so let me know in the comments i mean i think personally it would since it's like a maybe it's a little bit random on the explosion size so actually i don't know i didn't think about that anyways so i think this is a pretty good shape like for the cave base so we can have a bedroom up here where they can maybe a farm enchantment table you can always break out more rooms and that's what's cool but uh, i think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go oh we're gonna go around the build with this cobblestone and uh, essentially all we're gonna do is just add cobblestone to it uh don't like put blocks down but actually break the blocks of stone where you think like cobblestone should be and just place it back and uh, we're gonna do it on the floor the ceiling the walls everything you're gonna try to make it look really like I don't know, dilapidated I guess in a way but you want things still to look kind of like clean I don't really know how to describe it but you want to make things look random and uh, random is again very subjective it's kind of difficult to like explain what random is but it's trying to make things even but without a pattern like without a predictable pattern but you want to make things even so like try not to do like the same shapes and uh, like if you want to do an L instead of doing an L you could do like something like that and you could have four together because I mean somewhere in the build there's got to be four of those blocks together I mean if it's completely random like this with the size of this like the area you know eventually something's gonna happen like that so again just doing that all throughout the build uh, just adding cobblestone I think uh, I should probably pause it a little bit Add some cobblestone randomly and then uh, come back, but maybe we already have enough for it to like look okay, I think maybe. Um hmm. I'm starting to see where else you should put cobblestone. I really don't know. Again, I'm just putting it where I think it would look good. But uh okay, I think that should be enough. Maybe oh, question mark, maybe a little bit more in some areas like these that are kinda hidden under stuff. Yeah, that's looking good. Next step, I would take cracked stone bricks and I would do the same sort of thing. Uh, I would have less cracked stone bricks than like anything else because cracked stone bricks are not like easy to get and uh, I mean stone bricks look just as good so try to have like not that many cracked stone bricks but you can um, see that's a block I would definitely want to add and I want to add one right there too but uh oh see double click there you go see do you see that Corsair just makes it double click sometimes it really irritates me because you know like I, I build I build on YouTube a lot I mean obviously if you're if you're watching the video you know that but what I'm trying to get the, what I'm trying to get at here is like I need a mouse that doesn't double click so if you guys have any suggestions for like a good mouse a good like customizable RGB mouse then uh, hit me up hit me up let me know um, obviously I don't I did not see that that should be definitely stone um, which means there's probably gonna need to be a few more blocks around here yeah yeah looking good looking good neo all right all right now that we have that done now that we have that done uh we don't have normal stone bricks anywhere that's fine it really doesn't matter now essentially all we're going to do is uh and th this part's fun right we're just going to add a bunch of texture and i don't even know how to begin to describe this put stairs where you'd think they would go i guess i mean you, you, do you guys kind of see what i'm doing like i'm adding stairs I mean obviously that looks a little bit weird but like I'm never connecting them but I am adding stairs where I think like on the ceiling they would look good I wouldn't put them anywhere else really um, see there's just like a few select areas that I think would look good with them and of, of course you know I mean it's it really is all personal preference so if you think something looks bad definitely don't do it but if you do like the way it looks then I would recommend it um, slabs slabs are another thing you can add um, you can add cobblestone stairs of course obviously you can't I mean it's not just stone brick stairs and uh, just put them all over try to make it again somewhat random like I've been saying if I if I say random again I know probably half you are gonna stop watching the video because you're like okay we've heard that like a thousand times and you probably have but I can't stress that enough you want to make it random and I know I just said it again but I just I, I mean I really can't stress it enough you want to make it look ooh, what is that that looks weird don't do that um, 
So we do have cobblestone slabs as well. So cobblestone slabs are definitely going to need to be added. Just random areas in the build you think are going to look good. And uh, do the same thing with pretty much all the materials that you're seeing in my hotbar. And uh, we're just trying to make it look... Uh, we're trying to make it look good. See, those connect, so I wouldn't do that. Um, probably need some more slabs or something. I'm thinking maybe one right there. Maybe one right there. One right there. No, that looks weird. Like that, that. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe one right there. Maybe one up there. I don't know. I mean, you guys really just have to kind of experiment with it. And uh, see what looks good and I'm, I'm just gonna play around with it a little bit more I'm gonna come back when I think it should be up to par and just show you guys pretty much what it would look like And then we're gonna get to this cool interior. So when I come back, it's gonna look amazing All right, so I would say the next step definitely you want to have an entrance to this build uh, What you make the entrance out of again, I'd say that's definitely subjective It doesn't matter what you make the entrance out of but uh, me personally, I think I'm going to be using uh, just fence and then a fence gate somewhere maybe two fence gates just because, I mean, even, but uh, that's how I would do the entrance. You could definitely do something like, I mean, I, I don't really know what else you would honestly do in something like this. You could maybe like bring it up a little bit and have it like arch over or something like that. But then you would have to like make sure the fence is all like, I, I don't know, even, I guess. And you would want to do something like that. I don't know. I mean, you guys can go crazy with it. I th actually think that looks pretty cool like that. Yeah, I actually do like that. It looks kind of like, like rustic, kind of like, ooh, I like that. Okay, maybe... Yeah, okay, perfect. All right, but just something like that, of course. Um, if you want to light it up, the entrance, add some torches somewhere. That's uh, probably going to be a necessity in this build. Uh, as far as lighting goes in the build, really, I mean, it could be whatever you want. I personally, I think I'm going to go with glowstone and trap doors. But if you guys don't have access to those, then uh, just put torches on the walls, and I think it should be fine. But me personally, I think I'm just going to do lights like this. And I'm just going to do them like a bunch just scattered throughout. I'll do some on the ceiling. I'll do some on like the walls, like where I know like a bed is going to be. So I'm going to need some light over there. But that's really all I'm going to do for lighting. So if you guys were curious, I'm just going to go throughout the build a little bit. Uh, wherever, like whatever areas I think look a little bit dark, I will just add stuff. And uh, I thought, what was right there? Was it a stair? I think it might have been a stair, yeah. We'll just put that back. That looks good to me. So again, I'm just going to light everything up. Um, don't mind me here. Just uh, adding a little bit, of, a little bit of glowstone everywhere. I like the way glowstone looks. I'll be honest. Like that, I think that is my favorite light block. Uh, I know already asked a comic question. Would you guys be mad if I asked you another one? Okay, good. All right, so I know you guys probably... What if some of you said no and then you're like, I'm like, okay, good. You're like, no, dude, I said no. <laughs> That'd be funny. Anyways, so I'm curious. What is your favorite, like, lighting block in Minecraft? Do you like torches, glowstones, sea lanterns? Do you like starting, like, a little bit of a fire? Just let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite, uh, what your favorite thing is down there. And if you've already watched the video this far, you might as well leave a like. I mean, obviously you like it somewhat, so, I mean, leaving a like can't hurt, right? Alright, anyways, I'm going to grab the materials we are going to need to start this build. I think we should start out with the, probably the entrance. Uh, actually, I already have the materials we're probably going to need. I would make this into a stairway, um, and yes, I would actually like connect these stairs right here. I would just do something like that. You really don't need anything any fancier, but I think this looks good so far. Um, there's a little bit of areas that I would probably light up a little bit more. So again, I'm just gonna just gonna check everything, make sure it looks somewhat lit up. I think it's pretty much good. I mean, you don't want it like super bright in here because it's gonna look a little bit weird. But anyways, I'm gonna grab some materials now to build. I guess the bedroom first, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I think this should be a good like start to the materials I think we're gonna need for the bedroom. I don't know, we'll, we'll see, we'll kind of build it and we'll find out. So I think that looks pretty cool, having some stairs right there. Um, this area right here, you could probably do some upside down stairs, something like maybe like that, question mark. And then you could definitely like just slap some chests down in there. Um, I could grab some glowstone real quick. I'm just gonna line it with a little bit of glowstone. Grab that back, close that. You could do a chest under there. I mean, you could do something like that. Again, each cave is going to be a little bit different, so I'm just giving you some design ideas. Always gotta have a blue orchid. If it is a Neo Cubist build, you don't have a blue orchid. It's not a Neo Cubist build, so don't don't say it is. I mean, you can actually, but I mean, I, I mean, I have no way to stop you, but. I mean, it's not really like a legitimate one. Anyways, anyways, so again, like just areas like this, do you think you can fit something cool in? Do it. I mean, if you want to put something right there and then you want to do two chests, I mean, there's nothing stopping you. So, I mean, you can just build your bedroom really however you want. Um, I'm trying to think of some other things to coat in here, honestly. Something in maybe an armor stand right here or something. I don't know. I mean, you guys can pretty much build this however you want. If you feel like you want this fenced off so you don't like fall, then of course you could add a fence to it. I mean, it's really up to you. Whatever you guys want to do, 
uh, feel free to do. I mean, obviously, you, you li if you're watching this and you live in America, you can do whatever you want. If you live in any de democratic area, I mean, you could pretty much do what you want. Um, but mm, I'm thinking maybe cracked stone brick right there. And then I'm thinking we bring the fence out like that. I think that would be a little bit better. But yeah, I mean, that's a pretty cool bedroom area. Again, there's going to be a bunch of things in here. So, I mean, that's just one little tiny area. Let's get started on some more areas. So, I'm thinking I'm going to keep these, going to keep these, and going to keep these. Let's do a little bit of chest storage. So, we're going to find an area in the build that looks like. So, we can do one, two, one, two, and one, two. Yeah, I think that's good to me. So, what I mean by that is we can do uh, one, two, one, two, and one, two. So, that's where the chest, like, little module things are going to go. Which would mean we would have to modify this slightly. So we're going to have to break out that. And we'll just go ahead and fill that in like that. We're going to break out these areas. And we're just going to add chests to them. Uh, basically, I mean, th that's the beauty of something like this. Like, you can really just modify it however the heck you want. And build whatever the heck you want. And that's why I like building underground personally. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, you can do really whatever you want. But I am here to give you ideas and to inspire. I am not here to uh, do anything else. Actually, maybe I am. I don't really know. I don't know my purpose yet, but okay. We're gonna put some trap doors down. We're gonna do something like that, and then we're just gonna place the chests in between like this. But on the top block, if you want to just place like a stair block, just facing upwards like that. Actually, you can just put glowstone up there. I don't know what I'm thinking. Glowstone is a transparent block. Why? I really don't know, but now we have a bunch of chest storage. Probably more than uh, we will ever need. If you do need more chest storage than that, I mean, obviously, you can always add more chest storage. But I think that should be good. Uh, near the chest, we definitely need a crafting table somewhere. I'm not sure why we don't have one of those in here yet. Uh, you could just throw one down. You could throw one down right there. Um, if you want one up in here, you could do something like that and just put some crafting tables. Maybe not that many. Maybe that's that's a little bit too much. We'll just put one crafting table there and uh, we'll, we'll call it quits on the crafting tables. But I think we should build, uh, I think we should build a little bit of furnaces. So let's take some furnaces. And uh, let's just throw them in the wall like this. Let's just do something kind of fun, question mark. I don't really know what the word fun means in this pretense, but we'll just put some like furnaces in the wall and uh, we'll, we'll call it good, we'll call it good. I mean, obviously you don't need this many furnaces, but again, the beauty is just having just an abundant amount of it, whatever. I mean, it's not gonna affect anything negatively. Um, I'm thinking right here, we should do a little bit of a brewery. So I'm gonna grab those materials. All right, so I'm thinking maybe break out these areas right here. And again, there's going to be a little bit of modifications done to this build. I mean, everything's not going to be the same all the time. Um, I'm thinking if we should do it in the wall or if we should do it one out. I think we should actually do it in the wall. So we're going to do that many glowstone blocks. We're going to have a bunch of soul sand growing. We're going to place the trap doors up there. Uh, we're going to break out these two blocks, obviously. Hopefully there's no nothing showing. And there is, and there is. That's okay. We're going to put some soul sand under it, obviously, and then just trap doors. And I can't do that quick enough, but that's okay. I'll get it back on the second time around. And then you have a little bit of a growery. Um, you're going to want to brew in here, obviously. So we're going to put a cauldron right there. Uh, we'll put we'll put a cauldron right there. And we'll fill those both up. So you have a bunch of cauldrons. And the question is, where do we want the brewing stands? Hmm. All right. Well, I uh, struck a genius. Just uh, just struck me. So if the like if the things aren't grown, then I mean you you can access these. Like like if you break it and you harvest it, then you can access it. So it forces you to harvest it if you want to brew. So I actually think that's pretty smart. Me personally, I mean I think it's smart. It may not actually be smart, but I like that way that sort of turns out. So we'll do that. We will do that. We have the bedroom, brewery, uh, chest storage. We definitely need an enchantment table in here. So let's do something fancy for that. All right, so I found an area somewhat in here that's gonna look good. So obviously, if we put the enchantment table right there, we're gonna want to start filling it. Oh, that's see, that's that's one too far away. Hold on, let's put the let's put the enchantment table right there, and then uh, let's just fill in bookcases, and we'll just try to go pretty much all the way around. I don't really know. I know I filled in that one, and I didn't have to, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Let's check to make sure that's 30. Let's just grab a wooden. Actually, you can't enchant. Yeah, you can't enchant shovels. Never mind. Uh, yep, it is a full 30. What is it? Oh my god. That is like the best enchant- Man, that would, that would, I would have been so pissed in survival if I did that and I got those enchantments. Um, if you wanted to, like these, since these bookcases like wouldn't count, you could do something like that. I don't know, I mean, go crazy with it, but I mean, I think that looks pretty interesting. Um, you're gonna need anvils in here, so you can go ahead and just like, I mean, you can go crazy with the anvils if you wanted to. But I'm just gonna put down a decent amount of anvils. We'll have a little bit of a ender chest right there, and ender chest, I guess, would be proper. 
Um, hmm. Let's see. What else? What else? What else could we put in here? I'm trying to think. Because we have a bedroom. I'm just going to think. So I think aesthetically, we could definitely add some of these just in random areas. Uh, I don't know exactly where you would want to put these, but you could definitely just put them all over the build. They never really look bad. Um, they never really look exceptional, question mark, but you can really put them wherever you want. And uh, you can make things just look a little bit better, a little bit nicer, make them pop a little bit. And uh, I think that's enough flower pots. It's definitely enough flower pots. That's actually a lot. Um, I think it's time for some green wool and green carpet. So the green wool is for areas like this, where if you were trying to put carpet down and you couldn't because there's like a block there. I mean, it won't like it won't let you place it there. It would let you place it up here, I think, but you can't. I mean, that looks weird. Anyway, so the carpet. This is this is another thing with the random like like pattern. You don't want to have any set pattern for this. Uh, obviously, even up here, I would do the carpet. But again, I wouldn't like connect it all like perfectly anywhere. I would just have it kind of random how it is. And uh, I would do that throughout the build. Don't do it like, actually, if you do it in here, do something like this. Because I don't really know how it affects the enchantment levels. And uh, you can really just do it however you want. Um, I would recommend also putting like a little bit of depth in it and just randomly like putting blocks of wool like as well even where there's an area where you could put one necessarily like I would just still do that um, the thing is like when it's random with carpet you want to make sure it's connected still but you don't want to make it like fill up the entire area you don't want to just have like straight carpet everywhere because then it gets to be a little weird like I, I don't know why it looks weird, it just does if it's just like solid carpet. So again, just little areas like in the carpet that you want to add a little bit of depth to. You can do that. And plus when you walk, I mean it feels kind of nice. It feels like it has a little bit of depth. I don't know, I mean you guys sort of go crazy with that. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, leave a like down below. Thank you guys for watching. I don't know why I said that. If you want to see more tutorials like this and much, much more, click that subscribe button go below. You get notified when I upload, and uh, you'll be one of the first people to uh, see my videos. So that's cool. If you want to join that, go ahead. If you don't, don't. I mean, I'm not going to force you. Uh, if we get a 1,000 likes in this cool little cave house, uh, advanced cave house, I would definitely appreciate it. I think that would be awesome. I would like to thank you guys a final time for watching. If you're curious about the shader pack, texture pack, any of that fancy stuff is all down in the description below. And I guess I will see you guys in the next tutorial. All right. Bye.